Welcome back to Gigi's Place. Thank you for coming by. Today's second vlog, actually, is just gonna be about nails. Nails, nails, nails. I love having long nails. I started getting my nails done years and years ago when my kids were little i got them done by other people for a really long time um and then i started to dabble in doing my own and i did that for a while and then i just sort of gave up and went back to getting them done because you know you get busy and when you're trying to teach yourself something and nails is definitely a difficult thing to master it is time consuming and so it would take me so long to just get a set looking decent that while I enjoyed it, it just wasn't practical. Um, and now I have more time on my hands than I did back in the day. And uh, the kind of nails that I would want to be done on me, you know, fancy, blingy, awesome, arty nails, this set would cost a lot of money and I have other things in my life that I would prefer to spend that money on. So I have decided I would like to do my own nails. And when I started was last year, right after Mother's Day, um, my daughter, uh, she does this all the time. Mom, make an Amazon list. It's Mother's Day. Let's get you some presents and I'm like yay presents so I put together a list and I said what I really want is to start doing my own nails and so I had learned uh, through watching so many awesome YouTube channels uh, I glance over because I've got YouTube up on a tablet over here but um, through watching a whole bunch of really awesome uh, nail tutorial channels I had decided I can do this. I can totally do this. And this product that I learned about through several of the channels called Polygel looked to me like the easiest way for me to crack the code of learning how to do my own nails, so to speak. So what I did, excuse me, I had wet corners. You're gonna see that a lot. I get wet corners, sorry. I hope that doesn't gross you out. So, um. So the, uh, the, the one that most of the reviewers of the, the bigger name reviewers have reviewed, and I mean your, um, not Nail Nails, Kirsty has not reviewed it as far as I know. Uh, she only works with Nail Nails products. I love her videos. She's really helped me to figure out how I want my shapes to be and things like that, but also um, Susie at Nail Career Education. She's actually the first one I saw using the poly gel and the one she used was Gelish. And I believe she's also used Max's at um, Nail, Couture. Nail Couture. So, but there are so many. I, the first one I got, my daughter bought for me, it was like $4 on Amazon and it's called Honey Girl. If you are going to use it, I'm just saying this straight up as a tiny mini review of Honey Girl. If you are going to try to do actual nails that will last, do not use Honey Girl for that. It will not last. After about five days, they at first they're fine and you're like, click, 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 I love my nails, Ooh, I love that sound. Um, but after, four or five days, you can just snap it with your finger. And I mean, not even snap it, it just bends off. So it is absolutely useless for that. But if you want a very cheap product to put on tips to play with and learn the process, I would totally recommend it for that. Amazon, $4. I actually think you can get it on AliExpress for a little less. Um, I actually have a lot of things coming soon from AliExpress. We will do a little review of all of the things that I've got. Uh, I'm really, really excited. I've got a lot of things coming. I didn't even spend $20. So we are going to have so, so, so much fun. Um, actually, I meant to bring a couple things in here I didn't bring. Um, maybe we'll pause the video in a second and bring those in to show you. 
now the, the, the nails I've been doing for months now. As soon as I realized that the Honey Girl wasn't going to work for me, uh, this is a little squeegee, a little tube squeegee. I recommend this if you're going to do this product. I, it, makes a, it makes it so much easier to use. But um, the one that I started using after the Honey Girl, so these are literally the only two brands I've used so far, is the Joya Mia brand. And it's Onyx Acryl Gel. Acryl Gel. Like acrylic gel. And this particular color is soft pink. I'm going to go ahead and just give you a quick look at it. Looks just like that. So it's a nice cover pink. It completely covers your nail. It's very soft pink though. It's what I've got on right now. It's a little darker here because I've got a red nail polish on, but it makes a really nice natural looking nail. I do sculpts, so um, there's no tip under there to see. You're always seeing the acryl gel. The one that I just bought because I want to start doing encapsulates is um, the Onyx Diamond Clear. Diamond Clear, same thing, Onyx Acryl Gel by Joya Mia. And it's the Diamond Clear. And in this, you do get two full ounces. It's not, it is not going to focus on that, but it is two full ounces in the tube. I wish I had kept the little swatch I did. I had a little plastic piece and I swatched some in there to see how clear it is. It's very clear, so I, I'm sure I'm going to be able to do encapsulations with it. As you can see, it's just very clear in there. Um, I find it to be amazing. Uh, it really is easy to work with. I There are slip solutions that you can use to, um, to press the product down because you're really just pressing and moving it with your brush. Uh, some people like to use a gel brush with it. I'm actually using an acrylic brush, uh, uh, Oval 8. Um, and I find that to be 100% adequate. I 100% love it. And not just adequate, wonderful. It works wonderful. I'm able to manipulate the product, get it in the shape I like, and then you cure it in the lamp. I use an LED lamp and you cure it for, I do it for a minute and a half. I just feel like it's a little more baked. Um, and if you use forms that are not clear, like the, they're not the plastic kind, sometimes underneath it won't cure all the way. So after you take the form off, you have to smooth it out a little and give it a few more seconds of curing. That is the one problem that I found with it. Other than that, I love it. I don't get lifting with it. I don't have breakage. I don't have problems. Honestly, the only time I've broken a nail is when I tried some pinching and I think maybe it was more than the product could take. Um, I might experiment with it more because I actually don't mind fixing broken nails. I, I need the practice. So, um, but I would highly recommend it. Having not used another kind of acryl gel, which I want to try the Nao nails as soon as possible. It is also about the same price. This is these tubes are $25.99 on Amazon. Um, I don't have an affiliate code with them or anything. Just go ahead and look this up. If I get one, I'll start linking stuff. But in the meantime, just go ahead and take a snapshot of this or a screenshot and look this up. Um, but the Nao Nails has acryl gel now too. And I 100% want to try it because I just hear... First of all, I really like Kirsty's nails. Her nails are all pretty, and it just, you want to trust people that you enjoy their content, so I want to give that a, a try, and all the reviews that I've watched of Nail Nails have all been positive, so yeah, we're going to try that one too, and it's a similar price, like $25, $26. Um, now, the second thing that we're going to talk about tonight, I've not actually tried yet, Um they are just so pretty. Uh, it was a present that I got for my birthday, which was a few weeks ago, but they were from the Born Pretty store. Mm. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. I was a little burpy. Sorry. We're going to keep it real on the channel. I'm not even editing. 
Um, I'll try really hard not to, you know, like truck driver burp in your face or anything, but we have this. This is open, so I'm going to be careful. So from the Born Pretty store, I have these stamping polishes. Don't know if you're going to be able to get these. I'm at some point going to get a better camera. How about that? But this is what it looks like. One of them anyway. It is so pretty. And I cannot do wait to do some stamping with it. Uh, here, there are, here's the thing is that they're all a little bit like iridescent. Like this one looks a little green if you look at it one way. And it looks a little bit like the gold one you just saw when you look at it another way. And this one looks green and a little blue. They're, they're so um, iridescent, right? They're not hollow for all those hollow sexuals out there. But they are really, really beautiful. And then we have this last one that's more green than the other two. Oh, I cannot wait to play with those. So maybe one day, one of the vlogs will be face down and we'll do some swatching and stuff. That, that'll be fun. Here's the thing is that I this is not going to turn into a nail a non-stop nail channel. I'm not going to do my fills on, on air. I'm not going to build nails. I'm not, uh, if I ever get super proficient at it, I could start a second nail channel that's just for that. All I'm really going to do, I'm not going to put my makeup on. You're not going to get, do get ready with me videos. It's, I don't have a setup for that. I don't have lighting for that. So you know, I'm open to things changing down the road, but that is not the plan I have for the channel at this point. Wow, this video has gone 12 minutes. Let's go back to reviewing. and But I am going to review products because I really love nail stuff and other things too, and movies and shows like Project Runway. See the video that I just put up a minute ago or 15 minutes ago. So this is the Kiara Sky non-white top non-white top coat <laughs> and what I love is that this is what I'm wearing right now it is so shiny it's so shrink wrappy on your nail it's so like smooth and delicious and this brush is so clear let me get this over here so you can really see it the the polish itself which is a gel polish is just so delicious and beautiful but this let me wipe it off a little better this brush is just so clear that when you are applying it to your nail you can clearly as it fans out you can clearly see where it is on the nail and so it makes the application just so flawless like you're not getting it on your cuticle which and also Kirsty Meekin taught me I love you Kirsty Meekin she taught me to bounce 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 the product up and then bring it down and with this brush as you do that you can really see where you're going and it makes the pulling down because the polish is so smooth so nice so I would, it's about $12, I want to say, for this bottle, but I would highly recommend it. I do not regret a penny of the purchase on this. It, I, sh I am sure that in the weeks to come, I'm going to grow to love it even more. Having said that, I've got some Born Pretty um, top coat coming, and I intend to try Poochie's Nails top coat and that blingy jelly at some point as well, who... Um, and I can thank Long Hair Pretty Nails for that one. Um, we love you, Evie. Um, so shout out to all of the nail ladies out there. There are more that I watch. So, so many. I can't even think of all their names right now. Um, some of them I'm not subscribed to. And some of them don't really do nail tutorials as much anymore. Christine at Simply Nail Logical. I love you. But um, so I don't like watch the childish content as much on that channel, but the nail art she does is, whoo, I love Christine, she's amazing. Um, 
So shout out to all my nail ladies. You guys rock it out there. Uh, that's going to conclude my first nail product reviews. If you are thinking about doing your own nails, I say look up videos. Learn from the best. There's so many good teachers on YouTube right now teaching the craft and making it easy for all of us to have blingy, wonderful beauty in our life. Look at that. I did this myself, and maybe it's not 100% perfect, but I have had worse nails that I have paid for. So, I'm kind of okay with it. I hope you're having a great day. I am grateful. I haven't talked about gratitude yet. This is a 15 minute video, so I'm sorry it went so long. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna apologize. I'm glad I did a 15 minute video. I'm glad I'm here to talk. I'm glad YouTube exists <clears throat> for me to talk on, even though I don't agree with their politics or many of their practices. What are you gonna do at this point? If another platform comes along, I will find it. Um, I want to say I'm grateful that Philip DeFranco is back this week because I really missed him. I'm grateful for whoever watches this video all the way to 16 minutes. And I'm grateful I'm alive. Thanks a lot. You have a great day. Thanks for coming by my place. Talk to you soon.